Hello everybody, so you might have seen our last video, which actually did relatively well. Uh, I'm happy about it. I think it's really, it's really cool. You should go check it out. I'll probably leave a late card in the corner here. But um, yeah, recently I thought it would be funny to mod Kerbal Space Program because I actually have a bunch of ideas for uh, parts that I would want in a part mod. Uh, I actually already have modeled one, and I've done a bunch of tests, unfortunately. I didn't get the idea of recording it until, like, later. But, um, for now, um, I'm just gonna take you from beginning to end, show you a couple good tutorials that I used. Yeah, so, this is kind of a tutorial, kind of not a tutorial. First step, delete the cube. Nobody loves you. <laughs> yeah, let's cylinder in here. Now, the, the first tutorial I used uh, was from like a long time ago, so it said to use 12 polygons, so I did use 12 sides. Uh, unfortunately, it does not look that smooth compared to anything else, but it's okay, because honestly, it doesn't look too bad, and um, I don't care that much, and I can just fix it for the other parts. But this one is actually related to the first part I made, so I'm not gonna change it. Anyways... The, these mystery parts, first series of parts we're going to be making is actually the Oscar B, uh, not the Oscar B. Uh, I figured there are not enough 0.625 inline tanks. Now, I know most of the parts that I have on this list uh, could probably be fixed just by, you know, installing tweak scale or other mods. But frankly, I don't care. So this is the height value. For the first Oscar B, Oscar C is going to be double that. Uh, here I'm going to be making the Oscar D, which is going to be four times that. So if we just multiply this by four, we can find how many meters we need. This many. Boom. Just going to copy paste that. Of course, this radius is not actually going to be 0 0.625. Um, it's going to be 0 0.3125 because 0 0.65 is the uh, diameter, not radius. Uh, this is looking pretty good. All right, here's our beautiful, uh, beautiful cylinder. First, the first things we're gonna be doing. First thing we're gonna be doing here, uh, going into edit mode, and I actually want to make uh, like a loop cut. Right click uh, to cancel the motions. Uh, we don't need any of this because we already have what we want. Now, funny story. I don't actually know what I want to do with this thing, so that's fun. I don't actually know the design I want to put into this. Um, maybe like the other one. Well, you guys probably don't have an image of the other one. It's a secret. I can pull up the freaking model right now. Now this one is sideways. Uh, so this is the part I made. I'm thinking I want to do something similar to it, but I don't exactly know what. So I guess we're just going to be finding out. I was going to say we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but that bridge is now. That bridge is here. <laughs> so, let's just... In my opinion, this actually looks pretty good. So, don't mind me, I'm just going to do this with all the others. Real quick. Just realize what this what this is gonna look like. It's gonna be like a big tank with like wires around it. Now I kind of don't want that actually. So um, my strategy to counteract that is actually gonna be this is gonna be my counteraction. It might not be very Oscar B like, but I'm vibing with it. I feel it. I think it just looks good. I I actually can't imagine this. It's just like a bigger Oscar. I'm trying to figure out what to do with these faces. How do I extrude them inwards? Mm -hmm. 
honestly, just leaving them flat would make more sense for the Oscar B line. Oh, I totally forgot how small this is going to be. Womple. Anyways, I'm going to make a collider box. It is not at all accurate. I'm literally just going to make a... All right, this is looking pretty good. Now, it is a texture time. Look at that. I'm actually going to rearrange the UV map a little bit just to make it easier on myself. Now, this doesn't change the actual model. This is just to help texture, really. All right, so what you've effectively done is separated all of these internal faces from all of these external faces. Uh, why have we done this? Because if we look at the uh, original Oscar B textures, the insides are actually lighter than the outsides. Now, I uh, the this is why we have separated the insides from the outsides so that we can make the insides lighter and be a little more true to the original. Oscar B, even with my incredible 3D modeling skills. Now that we have here our, um, you know, reassembled UV map, we can actually, well, first of all, I'm going to save, uh, but we can actually uh, hit UV on, uh, wait, no, that's the wrong one, uh, export UV layout. And once we do this, we can actually take this UV layout, uh, put it in GIMP, and use it as a guide which is going to be really helpful all right guys so it, um it appears texture is blank i wonder how long i've been recording for quick side tangent everybody oh yeah i know why i saw this because i actually had this problem before i just have to select everything and then i have to export it I'm just gonna go in here real quick export uv layout and uh, going back in there Perfect. Now we have the blend file and um, we have the PNG. Wonderful. Wonderbar. Now um, uh, let's get to texturing. But first, I'm going to stop this recording because it's an hour long. And I'm scared my computer won't have the space. All right, guys, uh, we're back. Um, the other file only actually took up like 250 megs. We're just going to go in here, uh, pull out the UV layout. And uh, bam, you can see here, um, we have a nice little tracing area. Now there is one thing I would like to do, and that is actually open up GIMP again to copy the other color. Feeling my brain is slightly breaking. That's not that's not a problem for now. Uh, let's open. No, yeah, it's under here. Let's get this out. Boom. You can see the old texture here. Now I'll just color picker. This looks pretty homogenous. All right, we're just gonna copy this. And we're going to open back up the other file. We're going to uh, make another layer. Yep. And we're actually going to save as... It's under here. Yep. There we go. Um. Yep. This is where we want to put it. So we're just going to put it here. And now... Oh, look. Uh, this actually stays open. So we can just steal the images more. Yippee. That's so nice. Make sure this one's selected. Uh, pull out our uh, big old brush. This is the one, this is more uh, versatility. So I'm just gonna be. There we go. Now, it's time for... Well, I'm actually going to be adding a quick little filter render noise. I stole this from the internet. I'm not that smart. Um, and I'm stealing... We're just going to be... I think we can just export this and see how it looks. Die. Uh, you know what? I'll actually undo. going to make a new layer for that. That way, it'll be controllable and better. So we're just going to... Yeah, that looks good, I think. I can actually erase some of it in areas where I don't quite want it. 
but let's put it put it in blender uh see what we think i'm gonna save it here i'm gonna save that under texture one just in case i need to make more there we go all right guys uh i'll see you all in blender uh hello everybody again it is um tomorrow now because i got lazy <laughs> but uh so uh off camera i added a bit of beveling just to make it look nicer but now that we have the texture done let's just um import that real quick you can see the bevels in the texture map it won't affect anything everything's still in the same place which is really nice let's bring in another no not a new one let's open you get in here I'm so smart. <laughs> I need to give this thing a texture, base color, um, image. Oh, open. Yeah. I'm not living the tops and bottom. I'm not living the top and bottom here. I think it actually matches the Oscar B pretty well. What do you guys think? Wait, let me get a reference photo of the Oscar B up real quick. Last time I had to darken it because it, it looked it was too bright. Yeah, yeah, I have to go back and the GIMP and do the thing. Okay, well, let's do that. Hippie. All right, hold up. Let me just pull up GIMP. All right, guys, uh, we're back in GIMP. Real quick, I'm just going to open... Uh, I'm just going to open this. And I'm going to open the other one. This one. Yes, this one. Uh, this one actually has a shader on it. You can see makes it quite a bit darker just to match the oscar b and in game it looks pretty good but hmm uh, you can actually see the outline is the other texture map but uh, i'm i'm debating because in game this exact texture looks about right and this is the same color as this now you use the same colors and everything but hmm okay, here's what i'm gonna do I'm just gonna real quick erase here that way then we can just fill the gaps in and then we're just gonna erase a bit more again there we go now hopefully it should be a bit better um i'm really like torn on the color because this is literally the same color scheme as this but for some reason it looks oh uh, you know what i think it's probably the noise map that's done it so I'm going to copy this over, Just slap that on top, but I'm going to lower the opacity. Okay, there we go. And what I said, what I was going to do is get this map back on. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get like a little bit of overflow. Um, yep. Let's export this. Well, let's save first. Uh, we'll just leave all this as is. And now I'm going to go into files. Uh, clean it up a bit. Uh, oh, this is my <laughs> this is my OBS recordings. Don't look, don't look. Uh, just gonna clean up some of this a bit. All right, see you back in Blender. Okay, guys. Hi again. Um, we're back in Blender. All right, let's open up our good old Blend file. Let's get the new texture in. Okay, where is it? There you are. Hello. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I left the UV map visible. Okay, oopsies. We're back in Unity, so let's just go into Parts, uh, Get New Folder. Now, this is actually specially configured. It, it's not just stock Unity. I have something called Part Tools installed. Uh, there are a bunch of great tutorials on it. I'll link them in the description. Um, those are actually what I used to figure out how to do this. Otherwise, I could not have done it at all in the slightest. All right, so I'm just going to real quick, then Oscar D. I'm going to import a bunch of the assets, like the texture asset, the the DAE file, and that's all because I don't know how to make a bump yet. A bump map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could speech. All right, so I'm just going to be dragging this in here real quick. Reset the position. Move it um, one meter to the left, to the right. I know my directions. But yeah, you can see it's up right now. All we have to do here is go under the collider, Delete mesh renderer, add component. Okay, I can speech. Uh, physics, uh, mesh collider, uh, convex, and 
now it should collide properly which is good for us uh i also need to make a material just gonna name this what did i name it what did i name the other one all right here we go all i need to do here go from standard ksp pick one of these i'm gonna be doing diffuse since that's what i use for the other one uh drag this into here and now i can drag this onto here ah uh, yeah you can see the you can see the shader it's doing its job I feel like this one's light patches are a lot brighter than this one's. I kind of don't like that. I want it to be, like, noticeable. I don't want it to just be, like, flat. Yeah, that looks the same. Ugh. I have to remake the texture. I don't want to have to remake the texture. And then I have to re-import this. Yeah, you can clearly see those, those bright strips. But these, you can barely tell the difference. In here, that's, like, the same colors. But, like, in he but like here, it just looks a lot duller. It just toggled the scene lighting, and now you can see just how the raw assets work. Look, and honestly, no, yeah, this one's so much brighter. God damn it. All right, guys, uh, we're back. I got the new texture, and honestly, I kind of like it a lot. A, a lot more, because, you know, it's just, oh, just that much more identifiable. So we're just going to be going back in here. Just going to be importing these two. Gonna replace this texture with that. You can see just how much better this one is compared to the original. You can actually tell the can you? Did I change it properly? Uh wait, no, I need to apply this to you. Yeah, there we go. You can see just how much different it is. Well, more more different it is from its past. A lot more similar to this one. Honestly, I kind of like the look of this a lot. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I did a banger with this one. Uh, FD game object just to help organize things. More like that's because of what the tutorial said. Uh, these are in the same location. Oh, I need, did I not apply rotation to the colliders all bugged out when I get into when I get into Kerbal Space Program? I'm gonna be so pissed. I think it will be. I'm not taking any chances. Okay, see you guys back here. All right, so I know this is gonna sound a lot worse because I don't have OBS, but uh, just a quick note. Uh, last time I didn't get the footage, but everything worked out this time. Uh, see you in the proper one. Okay, well, we just jumped right into it, I guess. Uh, these, uh, these are all the recordings again. If we just uh, go into our files, you can see we're here in Le File Explorer. Uh, Oscar D. These are the two files. Now we are going to make a we are going to have a make a config. Uh, I have this one left over from uh, when I was making the config for the Oscar C. So we can just steal that, uh, copy paste it in here, open up this, uh, boom. Now we can just change a couple things, steal a bit of code. Well, it's not really code, is it? Stop! 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 There we go. Wow, it really isn't. Well, I don't know what that does, but I'm going to ignore it. I think we're done here, so um, let's just boot up the game and uh, see you. All right, guys, uh, we're in, we're in the video game. We're 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 in the video game that we just added. Uh, that we just uh, uh, so this is a, a file I'm using to test out all the parts because I don't want to screw any of the other files up. But um, hopefully it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized. Uh. All right, guys, mom, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo! That's what we're waiting for. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Woo! We got the big tank, all with uh, a very different styles. 
uh, these open flat sections you can really see uh, you can see the resemblance the Oscar B uh, in the bright in the bright area yeah you can see a bit of resemblance I feel like my texture actually is higher quality that might just because I have low texture quality on I don't know yeah it's looking uh, pretty good uh, you can see uh, the other one as well in game the happy family uh the description you might feel uh yeah so let's try making a rocket with it guys uh yeah the new craft design the inquisition uh, and i think it's moderately okay uh i'm just gonna be adding the final touches now perfect ready to ready to fly twin boar is so overpowered all right guys it's launch time are you ready three two one <laughs> There's our fuel tanks. That sound is definitely not gonna get annoying at all. Luckily, my um, desktop sound and my mic sound is separated, so I can lower it. Oh uh, yeah, those actually look so cool. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's so good. Uh, I'm so happy with myself. Oh, uh, that's actually incredible. Oh, uh, that's so nice. I'm gonna go scream at Ari. Okay, hold up. Hold up, guys, I'll be right back. Look how nice these fuel tanks look. Honestly, for real. All right, well. Look, you can see Eve and Duna and Kerbin. Kerbin rise. Kerbin rise moment. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is so cool. Oh, I'm definitely putting this in the video. I don't think ever in my time of playing this game, I've had a landing this clean. Hold up, hold up. And touchdown. That was so good. All right, we got all the science. Too bad this is um sandbox mode. I don't care though. We're gonna send out Jeb. Yes, Jeb. We have made it.
Okay, guys. Um. Well, this is probably gonna be the end of the video. I'm just gonna time lapse the rest. So I'll just keep blabbering on while that happens. doing science today does the letter do a splash come on come on you know you wanna oh man it doesn't oh that sucks okay guys um hope you like watching the video <laughs> uh i know we got just a tad sidetracked at the end ed literally just did a mug mission with the new parts but i think that was really cool that they turned out a lot better than I expected, actually. So, um, it's like, bye, I guess. Adios. Bye. Uh, like, subscribe, make sure to watch the other videos. Uh, yeah. If you haven't noticed, you have a new outro. It's a lot better than the old one. Uh, this took a long time. Uh, not that long, actually. Uh, go watch the tutorials in the description. Bye.